But a lot of coaches around the league, if you take a look, this is the time of year the speculation begins, Jay Glazer, mm. and it really centers right now yep. with the Dallas Cowboys more than anywhere else. Look, Dallas Cowboys, the only way Jason Garrett retains his job as head coach, getting an extension, I think is if they not only go to a Super Bowl, but actually win a Super Bowl. And, Kurt, you're right. Right about now is the time that teams who are going to be looking for a head coach start compiling lists. And if you want to compile a list, let's start with our big game today and focus on that with the Ravens uh, and the 49ers. There's four names there that will be in the running this year. Greg Roman, there's no name hotter right now for an offensive coach in the entire NFL than Greg Roman with the Ravens for what he's done with Lamar Jackson and Wink Martindale, their defensive coordinator. It's a no-name defense, but that's the guy that players in there say he commands that room. On the other side, Robert Salak, we just talked about him. He's ready, according to people on the 49ers. And, Mike, you just brought him up. Mike LaFleur, if you're looking for somebody in Kyle Shanahan's coaching tree, he's a guy who will get some looks. You couldn't watch the Cowboys game and not come to the conclusion that Sean McDermott and the Bills staff worked Jason Garrett and the Cowboys staff. It, it was hard to watch that game if you were a Cowboy fan. We talk about this league's about special players. It's also about special coaches. Who are the Coach of the Year candidates this year? Sean Payton got a Super Bowl. John Harbaugh's got a Super Bowl. Belichick's got a room full of Super Bowls. Kyle Shanahan's the best young coach. Look at his team. It's not just about players here. It's about great coaches. Tom Coughlin's. These are the guys that win the Super Bowls. And I think Dallas needs a new coach. And I, I'm not a big fire the coach guy. There's way too much talent on this team. Buffalo outsmarted them. The defensive game plan, the trick plays, they did right. everything right. Everything right. Do, any, do any of those coaches you mentioned have a quarterback? <laughs> well, they have pretty good quarterbacks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, but you know what? You're talking about Buffalo did this and did that. I'll tell you my opinion why. That whole Dallas saga with Jerry, and no, and I know firsthand, no one wants to win a Super Bowl more or is feeling more desperate than Jerry Jones to win one. And with that being said, though, he comes out and, and makes those comments after the New England game about his coaching staff, and that, that puts the seeds of doubt not just in coaches' minds but in players' minds. Yeah. And now you have a short week getting ready for Buffalo, and who's a heck of a football team. I, yeah. I admit that. And for a short week playing on a Thursday, the only conversation anywhere was was about Jerry and the contract of Jason Garrett. No one's talking Buffalo. So I was not surprised by that outcome. And, uh, you know, right now you look at the Cowboy team, I just don't think it's a healthy environment to keep winning, even though they got the division right out there if they can still yeah, go get. Yeah, this is not over.